We're overlooking Brown Sea Island, which is just uh, across the Solent there, and that is, of course, where the very first uh, scout camp was founded more than a century ago by Robert Baden Powell. And locals have turned out in force today, all of them telling us that it is nobody's business what his views were in the past. They feel that that is ancient history and they would rather remember all of the good that he did. 53 million people going through the scouting movement globally. Earlier on, I spoke to some lo local residents here in Poole and we can hear just how strongly they feel about their statue on the quay here in Poole. We feel very strongly about this statue. It's here and it is in that position for a reason. It faces Brown Sea Island, which is where the scout movement was founded by Baden Powell. His history has nothing to do with the removal of this statue. So you want it to stay? Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. 100%. I will fight you! Just tell me. There's nobody against it. They want it here. It's history, isn't we, it? We've got it's a suggestion history. for the council. Mark, it's history. They can put a structure around it to keep it safe. What's the problem with that? There's no problem with that. No problem at all. And so what are they going to do? Take the pyramids and Cleopatra's needle down? <laughs> the Colosseum. And the Colosseum. And the Colosseum. Bath, they, they were slaves. They were racist. So that gives you an idea of just the strength of sentiment here in Dorset today about this whole issue. And obviously... Uh, this was on social media last night. Some people have travelled from as far away as South Wales. Earlier on, I spoke to some scouts uh, who had simply gone on Facebook last night and felt that they had to come down here today uh, and rally around Baden-Powell. We can hear from one of them now, uh, Matthew Trott. Baden-Powell was my hero. I, I think this is a very symbolic item towards scouting. I understand the need for it to perhaps be removed temporarily. Uh, to protect it. I'd rather see it in a box in storage at the moment than bomb the harbour. But the thought of it not returning to a frightful place here on the harbour, it, it sickens me to my core. It makes me so angry. Now, the local council seem to have scored something of a, an own goal, really, today. They sent out messages to the media last night saying that this statue would be removed today for its own safety, really. They don't want a situation where people come here and put it in the sea, uh, into the water, as we saw in Bristol at the weekend. And they have now backtracked. I've been told by the council today uh, that categorically the statue will not be removed today. Quite what its future holds, we don't know. Uh, but the council have told us on the record today that they will not be removing it today. And certainly speaking to locals here, they wanted to stay here permanently. They point out it's been here 12 years without a single complaint.